guys so I just got back in town from doing cookies with Santa which at the very end of this vlog I'll include a little clip from our our Santa photos um, we won't get them back for a few weeks but anyways this vlog is about Costco Business Center and if you're just randomly finding this video because you saw Costco Business Center this is gonna be vlog style um, I've been sharing a lot of my Costco hauls on my Instagram and it's become really popular especially as I share how I save money shopping the sales creating meals like today in this Costco video you'll see that I found meat on clearance um, and I vacuum sealed it and deep froze it once I got home with it but I think I got 16 pounds of chicken breast for 30 bucks and then I got a five pound ground round of like premium ground beef like the lean ground beef for 14 so anyways that's I was excited about that. I like going to the Costco Business Center because they tend to have sales on meat. And they, while they do have some stuff that normal Costco has, there's things that they don't have. Like they don't have a gas station at ours. They don't have like a food court, which is a little disappointing because who doesn't love going to get their $1.50 Costco hot dog after spending like $300. <laughs> Like it's a reward. <laughs> um, but yeah, the business center is really cool because if you like creating, like I created a snack cart for Jackson about a year ago and like I love buying all his like snacky foods there. It's just a lot of fun and there's a lot of ways you can find um, ways to save money using the business center as well. And I'll show you guys that in this video. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to it. I'm at Costco Business Center. It's always super empty in here, but I wanted to show y'all in case you have a Costco Business Center near you um, what those are like. And they have deals too. Like right now they have these Scotch scissors, the three pack. Um, they have a bunch of cooking stuff. The Business Center is always empty. It's fantastic. But... I'll show you guys stuff along the way. So they have like on the other side, they have a lot of like industry cooking things, but they, it's almost like a mini restaurant supply in here too. Um, okay, I switched it on to super study. So that's a pretty good deal. The, the prices in here are just like really I love, they're really, really good. I love coming in here and seeing what the business center has because a lot of times it's completely different. Like the food is a lot of snack stuff like you would buy if you owned a gas station. Okay, so they have cutting boards and all kinds of stuff. I just got one of these pans um, because I wanted a bigger cookie tray, like a sheet pan, like I used to use when I worked at the um, cake shop. And when I was a, yeah, this one's too big. I don't have storage for that. It would fit in my oven, but it's just too big. So I'm going to go with this one. Um, I loved the stuff we had when I worked for a catering company as a pastry chef. Like, I loved all the things we had access to. So I wanted a bigger sheet pan like we had there. So they have lots of office supplies. I love getting these post-its. Sometimes they go on sale. They're post-it packages. Um, sometimes this goes down to six bucks. So part of the reason I came over here is because somebody had posted on the Texas um, bypass group I'm in that they had the premier protein, the chocolate one. They were clearing out for nine, these big cases for $9, but in the Houston location, but I think they all got bought out. But I get my premier protein from here. They have the peanut butter one here. But while I'm on this aisle, I'm gonna get my coffee stuff. Is this caramel? Oh, this is the chocolate. They haven't had the caramel sauce. I buy this Da Vinci, but the caramel, but they don't have it. Hopefully they get it in stock soon, but these are the syrups I buy. They just restocked. I tried the Godiva one and I don't really love it, but I love the Da Vinci. So if you do sugar-free, they have the sugar-free Da Vinci ones. If you do regular sugar, they have the sugar, um, the classics. 
I love currently taking their raspberry um, flavor and mixing it with the Da Vinci caramel sauce. It's really good. I don't know if I want to try this. Hmm. I wanted to try that, but they didn't have it last time. And then now they don't have the caramel, but I think I'm going to wait till I use all my caramel. Hopefully next time I come back, they'll have the caramel in stock. But you can order it online. It just costs a little more than here. But yeah, their syrups are five and the sauces are ten. Okay, so these are a great deal. I'm actually going to grab some today. Um, you get 76 pads for $11.50, which is way cheaper than getting the same thing at the grocery store. And I just, sometimes the tampons go on sale like that. They don't have a sale right now. But I just saw the five hour energy, not this one. Extra strength berry. So these are all the aisles I was talking about. This like snack food, like chips, things you buy in a gas station. Um, I'll go down them in a minute and show y'all. I buy Jackson's chips here. Like literally no one's ever here. And I wish I had thought to come here when uh, Miss Rona was at her worst and you couldn't find anything because I feel like they would have had stuff because nobody thinks to come here. But this is just like random medical stuff, I think, and gloves. This is that trash can that is on sale at the other Costco, like normal Costco. I just, I'm building a coffee bar in my kitchen and I'm gonna have built in trash cans, so I'm just like, I really don't think I should buy that because it's gonna be wasteful. Okay, I want y'all to see the prices on this stuff. Like, this in Home Depot would cost so much more. I really want to get one of these brooms, the corn one, because my mom had one growing up. Um, whenever I replace my rooms like this, I think I'm going to get this. But like, that would be so much more money at Home Depot for some of this stuff. If you're like getting married and need tablecloths, they have it here. <laughs> they, oh, they have a sale on Mr. Clean here too. The Magic Erasers. I think I still have a box from the last sale though, but... I just love coming in here. Sorry if this is not interesting to you guys. <laughs> Everybody on Instagram loves when I share it. Okay, these crates are the ones that I am obsessed with. That's what I use. I need to buy another one because I keep two in my car for my Costco stuff instead of getting boxes. And I took one of them and made it a scout crate. So I need to buy another one, but not this week because they always have those. I'm gonna wait and see when they go back on sale because they usually go on sale too. This is like a bunch of cleaning stuff. Look at this Febreze. Look at this Febreze. Like, if you bought that many bottles of it, there's just no way. Like, buying in bulk is the way to go. Because it says 15, but if you try to buy that much Febreze in the store, it would be more. For sure. This is my first time seeing this. I think I'm going to buy it for my car. So, it's like sanitizing wipes for your hands, which we need a lot. A lot of times we have like sticky hands in the car, but at the same time it's disinfecting. I think I'm going to get that. I'm going to try that in the car this time instead of just hand sanitizer. Because sometimes we need wipes or Kleenex, and I'm out. Well, obviously not Kleenex, but like um, some napkins to wipe off food. And then I wet them, but this is like way better for hands, I think. I'm gonna okay, I'm not gonna go down the rest of these because these are all like um, spoons and forks and things like that. And um, like heavy duty to-go boxes, stuff that I don't think most of us need. So I'm probably gonna skip over to the other section. So over here we start all the drinks. Um, there's a toilet paper, paper towels, all that stuff, like a normal Costco. But the drink section here is insane. They have so much more selection. Um, it's like, you know, obviously geared towards businesses. And the snacks are awesome too. 
and the only cold section they have is this massive refrigerator and then they have the freezer stuff. So I'm gonna get some water because I need some and then I'll take you in. Okay, this is the fridge. This is chicken on sale. It's a really good price. It is on sale. I can freeze it. Alright, that's such a good deal. I ended up getting two and I got a thing of ground round. I'll show you guys that at home. I'm gonna get through here as fast as possible. I just have to get strawberries. I'll show you guys the egg prices. $4.99 um, and then $6.99 for the organic brown 24 eggs. I hear people complain about how expensive eggs are. I feel like it's pretty good price at Costco for eggs. Compared to the grocery store, um, it's much better prices. Alright, so there's somebody stacking boxes. I got the Little Bites for $10 and the two pack of white bread for $3. 49. All right, so they have a freezer section and a lot of times they have a different variety of freezer foods than normal Costco. I just call them normal Costco. <laughs> and oh, they have Jackson's drumsticks on sale. So I'm gonna get some. These are 16 count for eight bucks. Okay, I'm actually gonna come back for the drumsticks on my way out because I realized I have to drive really far. So it should be the last thing I put in my back. Oh, let me go back because I was going to show y'all some of the frozen food. Look, they have like Twix bars, M&M's ice cream, things like that. Okay, I was looking for this low carb, um, like Jimmy Dean's kind of breakfast sandwich they usually have, but they don't have them for whatever reason. But I'm standing here trying to decide if I have enough room in my freezer for this because I feel like that would be a really good breakfast. It Okay, it is pretty low carb for the most part, so I mean, I get it. But that's a like really good sale. It's like $5 off for eight breakfast bowls. I just have to make hella room in my freezer. Right in the drink section, they have, they even have Mexican Coke, but they have all the sodas you can imagine. Gatorades, different flavors. Um, just big packs of these. Two liters. Every kind of just drink you can imagine that you like. They even have like the Starbucks in a can. I'll show you. You can see. Well, it's not zooming. Okay. Um, I'll go around. Okay. They have like this, you know, the Starbucks can stuff you buy at a gas station. Just so many drinks. Um, and if you do the math, it's like a better deal to buy them like this. I was going to actually check their Coke Zeros. Okay. They even have like fancy water. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because um, just everything. But I cannot find my Coke Zeros. Okay, for whatever reason, they are out of Coke Zeros today. But I'm not gonna go down all the freezer section. All of this is like bulk rice, pasta, just restaurant supply food. Um, they have like gallons of soy sauce. Um, I noticed last time. But I'm gonna take y'all down the snacks and then I'm gonna head out. All right, so here they sell these giant boxes of um, chips by individual flavor the 64 um, packs I usually buy Jackson's Lay's here see vending food services um, I buy Jackson's Lay's here but I buy the smaller box because he only likes plain Lay's and so um, in the grocery store those bags end up being so expensive the little 12 packs of them and then I would buy a big bag of Lay's and put them in Ziplocs but it just got so annoying and I know that sounds like crazy but they're there I save more money buying it this way okay this box of 50 is $17 and you can get other flavors like that in the 50 pack I usually buy my checks mix here because a giant bag is $7.39 um, just all the snacks but I even bought stuff on Amazon to like um, 
make individual packages of chips and I tried to like fill them and I have a vacuum sealer that has like a sealer for the bags and it just this is once I found this it was like way cheaper just do it this way and he always has bags of chips so they have goldfish like that too $11 for 45 Um, we're not even to the good stuff yet. <laughs> I had to buy Jackson new sweet treats too. Okay, so vending machine stuff for cookies and whatnot. This is a famous Amos. I get him. I like rotate them. The 42 pack. These actually went up. These used to be $13.49. Inflation has hit the famous Amos cookies. <laughs> I'm actually probably going to get him these because he's been asking for Oreos. Make sure they're individually packed. That's just a massive box of Oreos. Well, wait, maybe that's a better deal though. Let's see. How many Oreos are in there? Let me do the math. Okay, I'm going with this one. This is a better deal and I'll just put them in um, baggies or in his lunch box in like the bento box. But this is $10.99 um, for $12 sleeves of cookies this in here wait oh that's the chips away um let's see what else do i need that's a good price on nilla wafers because that this shit is so expensive at the store now if y'all notice how much nilla wafers have started becoming i don't need me but now i know they're here for cheaper i never noticed that i needed them for a pudding i was making and i was like could not believe the price in the regular grocery store if this was the vanilla flavor i would totally get this for my dad for christmas like when we were kids we'd always get moon pies that was how we'd start our road trip was moon pies they have the mixed bags of chips too i love these pop chips. I don't need any right now. I have some other low-carb chips I'm eating, but love those. I feel like this whole vlog is going to be Costco. <laughs> Actually, I think I will do it that way. and That way people don't complain that there's too much random stuff in the vlog about Costco. All right. Beef jerky is on sale for $10.99. $10.99. This beef jerky is... I don't eat beef jerky. It Mm -mm. Like, I can't handle the smell. It makes me vomit. Um, so, but I feel like beef jerky is pretty expensive, and that's probably a decent deal. Let's see. Let's see. Rice Krispies, 60 Rice Krispies for $12.79. Mm. I don't know what these Bobos are. Those look pretty good. Pop tarts, 48 of the best Pop Tart ever made for $9.69. This is my favorite Pop Tart. Um, they have strawberry too, and then they have strawberry and brown sugar. This I get Jackson. It's $9.49. Um, sometimes for quick breakfasts. He loves the minis. Again, way better deal than the grocery store. Two big boxes of wheat thins. I mean, if you like wheat thins that much. Then they have um, the restaurant, giant bags of peanuts. I actually got this for my nephew recently because he's obsessed with Texas Roadhouse peanuts. Um, and I bought them for him and he was like, oh my God, they taste just like Texas Roadhouse. So just like a lot of nuts. <laughs> That's a good deal for that many planters, $6.89. I just bought, I need, I do need to go to regular Costco, I think, because this is still on sale, this giant bag. Remember guys, last week I got it for $9. I need to get one more before the sale's over. But so the Costco sales at the business center and the normal Costco, they don't always line up. Sometimes they have different deals. Okay. So if you are a on a fitness journey like me and low carb or you need high protein they do have protein bars that are better priced than the grocery store um just all different varieties they have it looks like think um cliff i love personally 
I love Power Crunch because it tastes like I'm getting a candy bar. Um, yeah. And then they have the cookies down there, like protein cookies. If you like those, lots of options. Okay, Nutri-Gram bars. This is a really good, like, disaster preparedness stockpile item. Or, like, for in Texas, hurricane season. And it's on sale. $12.99 for... How many do you get? 64 bars. That's a pretty good price. So for me, these expiration dates won't work because there's no way my family's gonna go through 64 bars by November. But had it had a later expiration date, I probably would have bought that. So here we are at candy. Like all the candy you can imagine. Oh, and they still have more bars over here. But I liked buying this at Halloween this year, the Kirkland's. Um, mix and then I bought a bag of chocolate mix for Halloween and it's really good for pinatas too. Um, their big packs of candy tend to be cheaper than the grocery store's big packs and you tend to get more. So if you're thinking ahead for Halloween check out Costco. I feel like they just start paying me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay there's the soy sauce. <laughs> $31 for a massive bucket of soy sauce. <laughs> so random. Um, that was just individual nuts. Now, more candy. Um, I loved this candy as a kid. Lucas. Let's see, they have some keto stuff. Mm. Oh, I love buying their pickles. Instead of, like, I don't know what state you guys live in, but apparently people freaked out on the internet when they found out Texans usually eat pickles in movie theaters. And I thought that was so bizarre. Because it's just like, I don't know, it's a thing. But I like to buy these here. Um, so when I go to the movies, I don't have to pay a bunch of money for the pickles. I just put them in my purse. They have all kinds of good stuff, candy wet. Okay, gum is on sale, and I think I'm gonna actually buy some. They have, they're usually $10.69, they have them for $7.99, so I'm gonna grab some while I'm here because I'm out of gum. My heart medicine makes my mouth so dry. I like to always have gum. That's all the candy they have. And they have Skittles on sale. These like the individual, yeah, individual bags of Skittles. So the good stuff does go on sale. I'm gonna go check out after I go down the cereal aisle because I always like to check the cereal aisle to see if any of the cereals are on sale. Um, and I use that in my emergency stockpile too because usually those dates last quite a while. Um, and it's always good to have during hurricane season. Oh, actually this is perfect because we love shredded mini wheats and they are on sale. Awesome. Look at this thing of syrup. Holy moly. That's wild. I've never come down the cereal aisle here, I realize. They have the little cup packages on sale too. Let's see. Oh my gosh, these are like the old school tiny cereal boxes. You know what I was thinking of the other day, guys? Do you remember when they had the cereal like this when we were kids, but they were squares? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they weren't like bowls, they were little squares. I don't know why I was thinking. I actually thinking of that today. It was today for some reason. And look at all that soy sauce. <laughs> so I actually was looking at this in the grocery store, like this comparable size, and it was like $19 in the grocery store. It's 829 here and I was looking at it because I was gonna have Jackson do a lemonade stand to help sell his raffle tickets for school but then my dad ended up buying all of them and one of my friends bought some too well, actually a couple of my friends bought some and so I ended up not doing the the lemonade stand because I was like well never mind because <laughs> I'm already hustling scouts popcorn this year and I felt bad like 
being like, can you just buy raffle tickets too? <laughs> like from everybody. So I was going to do a lemonade stand, but my dad pulled through. <laughs> oh, the Starbucks is on sale. Not that I, I don't like the taste of Starbucks, but, um, it's a good deal, but too bad I don't like the taste. Okay. This is everything I got. You guys saw me put them in the cart in the stores. So I'm not going to do a haul. I got all my clearance meats. I got two packages since it was so cheap as 15, um, which for these massive packages is a really good deal because usually these are up at 30 now with inflation. So they seemed about half off. I'm going to take them home, vacuum seal them, deep freeze them. I got a round of ground round for, I paid, can y'all see, four. 14 for the um, low fat one. I think that's five pounds. Strawberries, ice cream. You guys saw it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video of Costco Business Center. And you, if you if you have one near you, I didn't even know we had one near us. Um, I was at physical therapy or leaving Jackson's physical therapy and I needed to stop at Costco. So I put in Costco and when I rolled up like to the Costco, it said business center and I was like, huh. Because when I used to own my own cake company, I used Sam's Club Business Center. And back in the day, used to have a special, used to have a special business membership. So I just went up to the door and I was like, hey, can I come in here with my regular Costco membership? And they're like, yeah, you can. Come on. And so anyways, ever since then, I like going out there. Like every two months when Gatorade shortage was going on, um, which is still touch and go with the frost sometimes. I always could find it there in the big packs. I haven't seen Gatorade Frost or any Gatorade except I think the like sugar-free one in my Costco and since that whole thing started. They still don't have it, but the business center always has it. Anyways, if you have one near you in a Costco card, I highly suggest just going and checking out. It's like fun, right? Um, the only, like I said, the only difference is you can't get like a hot dog there, which sucks. And in ours, I mean, maybe some that you can get gas, but ours, there's no gas. Uh, anyways, right now I'm going to, I'm going to include a little snippet for you guys that follow my normal vlogs of cookies with Santa today. Thank you. He just turned six in May. Okay. Ready? We're going to do a cookie bite now. Okay. Mm. Alright. Good. 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 I don't think I've ever shared that on my YouTube. We've been, this was our fourth year doing it. And Jackson has ASD, so do I. And um, Santa has always been a little dif difficult for him. Um, he would never make eye contact with Santa and he would never talk to Santa. Um, and so going into <laughs> Cookies with Santa, I had been seeing them, been seeing them and wanting to do it. And I was like, you know, let's just, let's try it, you know, because y'all know I'm obsessed with Santa. Um, and it's just the magic, magic of Sally. I call it. Sally is the owner of Country Grace Photography. People come from out of state to do cookies with Santa photos. And I can tell you it's well worth it because whatever it is, whether it's Santa is just amazing. Um, it's the environment, it's Sally, it's all those things together. Jackson actually will talk to Santa and interact with him and he loves Santa now. Um, although that is the only time he will talk to Santa. Santa, when Santa visits other locations, um, Jackson will not talk to Santa. <laughs> only in Miss Sally's kitchen, will he talk to Santa? So if you're in Texas, I just a bucket list thing, especially if you have kids. I mean, I think last year she did an adult Dos Equis, um, Santa, which reminds me like we did a naughty photo where I was with Santa in the kitchen holding beer. <laughs> and so I, I can't wait to see that photo, but, um, 
if you're in Texas, I know sometimes you need a Costco. I would, and you have kids, like I would try to get a spot. I say try because every July the spots go up. She puts them up in July. She gives you warnings of the day and like the minute it goes live, it sells out. What I do is I have two computers and my phone and I make Justin get his phone and we sit there and we wait and we, when it goes, we refresh, refresh. As soon as that like link is up there, you hit it. Um, and so, yeah, I highly suggest it if you can. We travel almost three hours to go get it done. Um, I don't know. I just can't, I can't urge you enough. If you live in Texas, you've got to do it at least once. Uh, Sally is just, she's awesome. Okay, I still have like my cookies with Santa glow because it was just, it's such a great experience as always. Now my eyelash is stuck. Anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog and I'll see you guys in my next one.